Hi there. Welcome to another topic video. And uh, this time we'll focus on the causes of price deflation. Here's a chart showing the countries in 2015 with the lowest rates of inflation. And you can see that they're all negative. So these countries last year in 2015 were experiencing price deflation. Now we're not talking about uh, hyper deflation, you know, minus 10, minus 20%. We're talking minus 0.7 or minus 1.3, what have you. But the, in all of these cases, the, the uh, country's inflation rate was negative. And that's the definition of deflation. It's a persistent fall in a country's general level of prices. Indeed, if we look at the European Union, particularly the Eurozone, there's quite a cluster of countries that are experiencing deflation. Uh, in this chart, we noticed that uh, Cyprus... And Croatia and Poland and Spain, Slovenia, all countries inside the European Union were experiencing price deflation. So what's causing it? Well, deflation, as we've said, is a persistent fall in the general level of prices. It's when the rate of inflation becomes negative. And essentially, there are two main causes of deflation. One on the demand side of the economy and one on the supply side. Let's have a, a quick look at each of them. Here's an example of, uh, if you like, demand pull deflation. So we've seen in the diagram here a significant inward shift of aggregate demand. That brings you down the aggregate supply curve, so supply contracts. And there is deflationary pressure on the general price level. So a fundamental cause of, of demand side of deflation can be a very, very deep, very large fall in aggregate demand causing a persistent recession or perhaps even a depression. And the rule of thumb for a depression is when national output from peak to trough in the, in the recession falls by at least 10%. Demand side deflation is nearly always caused by uh, almost semi-permanent recessionary conditions and the economy has a, a very negative output gap. There's lots and lots of spare capacity. Uh, there's insufficient demand for prices to say where they are. So you can associate demand side deflation with countries that have been through the mill in terms of macroeconomics. In particular, they've been through effectively an economic depression. Uh, here's a good example of a country that's uh, kind of moved, alternated, if you like, between low inflation and, and deflation. So the rate of inflation in Greece has become negative in the last few years. And that's, as we'll see in a, in a future topic video, that's going to be quite a significant issue for Greece going forward. The second main cause of deflation can happen on the supply side. And in one sense, you could argue that uh, supply side deflation is, is potentially good news for an economy. So it could be the case that prices are falling because productivity of labour and capital has, has improved, bringing down the unit cost of production. Or there might have been important technological advances in a production process which, which have allowed the cost of supply to fall and that's filtered through to consumer prices. So there can be some positive supply side causes of deflation. Uh, but equally, there could also be some, if you like, some negative uh, supply side impulses. It may be the case that businesses have been cutting wages. Uh, it may have been the case, for example, that the exchange rate has appreciated to a large degree, driving down the price of imported components, raw materials and energy and foodstuffs. But of course, that could, in theory, make it much harder for export businesses to sell their goods and services overseas, adding to the demand pull deflationary factors. So I've shown on this diagram here an outward shift of aggregate supply. And again, that puts downward pressure on the general price level. So demand and supply side causes of deflation might be looked at. Uh, Switzerland. Is another example of a country which has alternated between low inflation and deflation in, in recent times. Notice that, for example, there was some deflation in 2009, again in 2012, and again in 2015. One of the factors that's caused that has been the appreciating currency in Switzerland. The Swiss franc has significantly appreciated against the euro in recent times, and that's fed through to some lower import prices into Switzerland. So this has been a short topic video looking at some causes of deflation. We'll put together a topic video looking at the consequences of deflation for you. 
and also to look at some policies to avoid deflation. So just Google search them or, or use our YouTube channel to find the appropriate video. Thanks for joining in.